What's up, guys? It's your boys, Wolke, back with another Chris Watts slash Nicole Kessinger. Because, again, the big topic of this is why we're trying to find justice is to see Nicole Kessinger's somewhat involvement. Now, you guys, there's been a few people sending me this. How a female convert narcissist baits a married man. These are the top 10 steps that a female covert narcissist narcissist oh my goodness uses to bait a married man into having an affair she wanted to sit there and say a few times that they weren't having an affair but then she would google it and this so forth so we're going to look into all this right now but before we go any further if you guys could do me a solid favor and subscribe to the youtube channel by hitting that wiper icon down at the bottom right hit that bell icon next to it so when i do post videos like this one you guys will get that little ring notification that i've posted that video and then you guys can watch comment like and share and again, thank you so very much for that love and support that you guys show on this channel. Can't thank you guys enough. Make sure you guys check out this channel. This is Lisa Lee Blanc. Blanc. Blank. Blanc. Blanc. So make sure you guys go give her some love. Do the thing. Subscribe, comment, like, share. You know the deal. Give her some love. And with that being said, I want to get into this and see the ways that Nicole Kessinger changed this whole case by using those tactics of a narcissist and to have him uh act out the murders so let's take a look marital affairs and for those who are single they may try to get with someone who is married or in a committed relationship that said not all narcissists engage in mate poaching behavior and it is certainly not a defining characteristic again of the, the content is for information purposes only disorder I will also say that quote unquote normal people can also be mate poachers. I'm Lisa Blah, and today I'm talking about Blah. how a female covert narcissist baits a married man into having an affair. Because there are so few resources for men, I am taking this specific perspective for this video so that men don't get blindsided, Bye. but especially so that their families don't end up suffering the consequences. Now, let me first say that I'm not gonna spend any time on all of the reasons you shouldn't have an affair with anyone, but I will say that if you have an affair with a narcissist, you will likely get way more than you bargained for. Okay, so let's jump right in. Yeah. Studies show that narcissists are more likely to go after someone who appeals to them regardless of the relationship status. They may only be interested in a one night stand. However, if they have assessed you and desire you as a long term source of supply, here are the steps that they will typically follow. If she does it. Step one is the approach. So once the narcissist decides are suitable to I just meet. thought I'd add pictures to add the ambiance of the the person that she is and the narcissist and so forth just letting her shine like she probably didn't want to their needs she will be charming and she will quickly captivate your attention while also playing it cool she may start by complimenting your achievements or unique qualities and talents she did. These comments are meant to test your receptivity. If you respond positively, she will advance slowly at first, using her body language to communicate her interest. She will lean in, brush up against your arm, smile at you, laugh at all of your jokes, maybe even throw out a few subtle seductive remarks, but without actually crossing any lines. For now, she's just making sure you feel special and making sure you well, are Chris noticing Watts, her noticing. Chris Watts was very, very special. In you. That's what mom said. In step number two, she will share personal information. And usually this is problems in her past relationships. Which she did. Presenting as the victim. Always the victim. She'll say that she's she never that. talked about these things to anyone before, but with you, it just feels so easy and natural. She just feels so safe with you. And this tactic aims to build trust, to elicit empathy, and to activate your hero instincts. Step number three, she's mapping you out. Here, she will ask all about your interests, your goals, your dreams, and she, she just seems everything. so curious and interested in you, acting like your biggest fan. 
She gradually will maneuver the conversation towards talking about your vulnerabilities, your insecurities, and especially your dissatisfaction related to your marriage. Which he she did. wants to know what you're missing and what you're desiring. If you open up about any of your problems, she knows that you are also opening the door for her to infiltrate your life in more intimate ways. She will take this opportunity to plant seeds of doubt in your mind to amplify your marital issues while simultaneously providing you with immense support and validation, does, making sure you know. Does this woman like know the future? Like, I wouldn't say future, but does she, she know exactly that she's describing NK to a T? It's disgustingly weird. That you deserve so much more. Step four is idealization. Here the narcissist is idealizing you and putting you on a giant pedestal, complimenting your specific strengths and giving you so much attention and admiration. She either hints or talks directly about how great life would be if she could only find a real man like you, making you feel incredibly desirable and powerful. At this point, you're probably talking and texting more frequently. Uh, she's asking your advice on things. Maybe it's her career or a personal issue. It can be something complex or something super simple, like helping her pick out what to wear for a night out with girlfriends. Sexy outfit number one or sexy outfit number two. Regardless of what she needs help with, it will make you feel valued appreciated and needed you may have been trying to resist to a degree up until no, he this didn't point resist. but he there's no denying that you are fantasizing about her and contemplating whether you'd be you're something i crave is what they said to each other better off with someone My like her empanada. you start comparing your spouse to her and feeling more and more undervalued and underappreciated at home why can't your wife be more like this? At home, you might start voicing your complaints, pulling away um, from your wife, focusing more and more on what's wrong, what's missing, that sort of thing. Step number five, if there hasn't been any sexual activity yet, the sexual tension is becoming unbearable. The narcissist is using her top-notch seduction skills deliberately stimulating you visually and exciting your imagination. So that's almost like pretty much putting him in a trance. He didn't know what he was doing. Was this a murder for love that he thought he had for um, Chris or Nicole or vice versa? Nicole did it for Chris to show her undying love that she said. And the more time you spend talking to her or actually with her, the more you are flooded with feel-good hormones and chemicals and the more you start amplifying your marital problems in your mind and justifying why you deserve to be happier. You may also try to tell yourself that you're not doing anything wrong. And the narcissist, of course, agrees with you, plays this narrative up, Why easing your guilt. Nicole. You might still think that you can put the brakes on, but I would dare you to try and also remind you that this may be your last chance to get out of this unscathed. Step number six, the narcissist will orchestrate a situation for you to be alone together. Maybe she needs a bit of help fixing something or needs help on a project at work. Like and said with her if you go, she, she will step it up several notches, letting you know that she wants you and that you can trust her to be discreet. Things get sexual and this experience is likely to surpass your wildest dreams, bonding you to her and getting you completely hooked. There will be many fleeting, thrilling, naughty and intense sexual encounters over the next few weeks, making you... She's like... Does she know Nicole Kessinger? Like, jeez. Feel like you haven't even been living up until now. The emotional highs and desire for her are truly overwhelming you. You're literally thinking about her day and night, craving her presence, and constantly replaying your sexual encounters in your mind. At this point, the narcissist will solidify the bond by keeping in 
almost constant contact with you. Every she is 150% into you, bombarding Like Nicole Kessinger said, I'm not really that into him, but we did a lot of stuff. We we had it like six or five or five to six times a day. Um, we Googled butt stuff. Um, we went to different museums together. We sp stayed in a tent um, out in the wilderness. So that we got that. Um, and it's just like, you're digging yourself a hole, woman you with explicit text messages seductive video you. chats and you more loved him so much is what i was going to say more attention and sex than you ever thought possible this is the most powerful drug on the planet in this Lust. state everything feels like heaven you feel like you've truly found heaven for me is in the shape of a chalk cho or a cheesecake strawberry cheesecake your soulmate Step number Don't seven, the narcissist creates an elaborate fantasy bubble that you will both live in. In this bubble, there's no dirty laundry, family conflicts, money issues, just a carefree life where all of your dreams come true at the snap of a finger. All of your needs are met. It's, you know, amazing, just like the first date over and over, full of lust and living in the moment. You think, sign me up. You feel like you're on top of the world, like you are at the center of her universe, and you are completely addicted to her. She's Your marriage pales in comparison, and mouth. by now you may be seriously considering leaving your wife, convinced that life with a narcissist would be so much better. You start you making commitments, promising your undying love and devotion to her, pledging your loyalty. At home, you're distant, distracted, and emotionally disconnected. You may be blaming your spouse for not meeting your needs, and somehow you're justifying yourself, making this all your wife's fault. If you have more self-awareness, maybe you are taking responsibility and feeling conflicted. You are probably realizing by now that there are major consequences to leaving your marriage, and things are getting very real. Chris Step number eight the narcissist pulls her ultimate move and cuts you off either by ending it abruptly saying that you're not taking her seriously or Having she doesn't believe fit. that you're going to end your marriage or she may pull away suddenly without any explanation going from a hundred messages a day to crickets from relentlessly pursuing you to always being too busy for you not feeling well having Talking plans that don't include you the shift is sudden and it leaves you feeling totally deflated and devastated. You wonder what you said or did wrong. You may promise or even beg to fix whatever she's upset about and further commit. Or she sits there and says, if you don't murder your family, we can't be together. Snap. Could it? To making good on your promises to leave your wife. It is possible that she just wanted a short-term affair and is now bored with you, discarding you in favor of new supply. In this case, you will feel absolutely horrible and you will have no idea what a blessing in disguise this is. However, the more likely possibility is that this is a ploy to make you go into a state of withdrawal. But don't worry, she will forgive you and give you an opportunity to prove your worth and your integrity. But from now on, she will be hot and cold, pulling you in and then pushing you away, confusing your nervous system and making you... And there are some people that sit there and say that Shanann is the, the narcissist. What? Dependent on her, no your new drug. And soon she will be the source of your pleasure, your pain and your pain relief. Of course, she will tell you that the source of your pain is your miserable marriage, your indecision, and your inadequacies, not her. Where you used to get sex bombed, now she is using sex as a weapon. More and more, you will hear about how other guys are vying for her. She may mention that she's going on a... She said that, Nicole said that same thing. I was supposed to go on two dates, but they stood me up with some wealthy guy making sure you know that she possibly, is in high demand possibly sleeping with ceos of anadarko here she is activating your competitive nature motivating you to defend your turf 
Step number nine, as the relationship progresses, the narcissist's true colors start to come out. You notice more and more odd behavior, inconsistencies, double standards, Lying. and demands. She intermittently throws you off the pedestal while offering opportunities for you to redeem yourself. Here you may hear about what a real man would do in this situation and what she needs from you. Or what if she said, oh, if, a, if you were a real man, you'd do whatever it takes to, for us to be together. Maybe Chris took that as in the murder. But is that persuasion? Is that hinting? She's in the wrong. Sorry. If she's trying to lure you out of your marriage versus just having an affair, she will try to maintain the facade. But by this point, she does expect you to put her above all else and gets jealous or angry if you show attention to anyone other than her, including your wife and kids. Okay. She is questioning whether you are a man of your word, feeling like she's not a priority to you. And she vacillates more frequently between idealizing you and being critical. Step number 10. Here, the pressure is on and you will need to decide who it's going to be. First, the narcissist will probably try to elicit feelings of guilt and obligation. She will talk about how you let her on, broke your promises and wasted her time. Then Speaking she'll go back to gesture. trying to convince you that you're soulmates and she will recreate and reinforce the perfect illusion. Oh, if you choose to be with the narcissist, this fantasy will quickly dissolve. Soon, she will become increasingly irritable, entitled, whiny, passive-aggressive, miserable, and she will be micromanaging you as Everything. though you were a child or an incompetent idiot. You will find yourself trapped in a toxic cycle. If, on the other hand, you decide to stay in your marriage and the narcissist realizes that they've lost, they will be enraged. Remember, the narcissist is in it to win and they will turn on you when they realize that they're not going to get what they want. At this point, she may threaten to go to your wife or to blackmail you in other ways. What if Nicole she will likely him? emotionally manipulate you into remaining involved oh, with her. And this is a catch 22 because by now, you know that you've made a mistake and you want to end the affair, but you're scared to death about what the narcissist will do if you don't comply you become an emotional hostage. If you are in this situation, I would strongly advise you to seek professional support to help you navigate the complexities involved in your specific situation. To learn more about the female covert narcissist's toxic I'll tactics, please click on the link above. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss next week's video, which is on how to handle a situation where a toxic person will not accept that you've ended the relationship and is harassing or stalking you. Man, that girl was spitting narcissist with Nicole Kessinger. She, man, I tell you what, this could be all of his persuasion um or nicole kessinger did for with chris and it's just sh shocking to be similar and seeing all that but then nicole says she's not the nar narcissist it was chris that was the one that was leading her on it was both of them this 100 percent shows that she was he was per pursued hunted probably told voluntold whatever whatever have you this is it's like right in front of us and the law enforcement won't do nothing. Gosh, please let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Hit the like button for the obvious reasons of hopefully one day finding that hundred percent justice. Um, have a great night. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. So please again, uh, keep it real, keep it safe. And as always keep nerding on and we'll see you guys next time.